Hi, and welcome to this short clip looking at a multiple choice question that gets you thinking about and recognizing chiral centers in unseen complex molecules. In other words, ones that you haven't seen in the textbook necessarily before. So it gives you uh, four options. So you need to think about what a chiral center actually is, first of all. So it's a carbon atom with four different groups or atoms attached to it. So if we look at two examples, the one on the right is a chiral center because this time there are three different atoms attached to the carbon, but the one on the left is not a chiral center because it has three identical hydrogen atoms attached to the carbon. When we're thinking about ring structures, you've got to treat each part of the ring separately. So if we take the carbon that's labeled as number one, on the right and the left hand sides, if we take our laser pen, this side and this side are considered the same group. So that's one group and this is another group. So therefore there's two of the same type of group. Even though they join up at the end down here, they're treated as two halves and they're symmetrical. So this is not a chiral center. However, this one on the right actually is because if you have a look at the carbon here, this is the one I'm going to focus on. You can see that there are four different groups, if you include the hydrogen that's meant to be there. So the hydrogen is not in there because it's a skeletal formula, but don't forget, hydrogens also count. So the same thing would apply to this carbon down here if we did the circling of the different groups. So you can see there's an asymmetry. The, the um, red shaded part is different to the purple shaded part because of the presence of this methyl group. So if we go back to our molecule, you can see that there's actually four places in the molecule where that happens, taking into account the hydrogens. So therefore, your answer is going to be C. Okay, as always, thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.